Welcome back uh, to our video blogs. This is the second one as we're making our way through the Gospel of John. And I was kind of thinking about, now what do we want to talk about to set up what we're going to be studying in John chapter 4? And I thought about playing video games. Sometimes I do that with, with my kids. And uh, I don't do it a lot. It takes, takes time. And, and frankly, uh, I, there's some other problems that come into that as well. But the main thing is I'm, I'm not very good at it. I mean, from the Nintendo 64 to the uh, Xbox to the to the Playstations, you know, I've, I've done that with them. And I remember back when we used to do Rogue Squadron with Star Wars, and I'd get motion sickness trying to fly the flyers or the battle games. Always end up somehow getting my my guy in a corner, and I can't get out of the corner for the whole battle. I'm just face first in the corner, and they get pretty frustrated with me. And, and now playing Madden 10 with Joel and I, I keep somehow punting on first down. I don't know how I've done that. And that wouldn't be a big deal necessarily except that I also have a pretty competitive streak. And so when you got a, a person who wants to be competitive and, and they're bad, that doesn't always mean you have a lot of fun when you're playing the game. So sometimes Joel has to lean over and say, Dad, it's just a game. But there's something fun about the video games because you got to get a step out and step into somebody else. You know, you get to climb into a different character in the game and see what's going on, experience things through the eyes of somebody else. And that's what I want to encourage you to do in John chapter 4 as you get ready for Sunday. Read John chapter 2, John chapter 3, and John chapter 4 if you have the time to do that. We studied John chapter 2 last Sunday. We went through John chapter 3 uh, along with chapter 1 leading up to Christmas. So we're going to focus on chapter 4 this Sunday. But read 2, 3, and 4, and go to the back of your Bible, find a, a map. And just kind of follow along as you go from, you know, from Cana to Capernaum to Jerusalem to Sychar, Samaria. And just kind of see where Jesus is heading on your map as you read through there. Then we get to chapter 4, this is what I want you to do. As you read through the story there, try to put yourself into the different characters, you know, one at a time. Don't just... Don't just read it like uh, like you're watching it happen unfold on the street or like you're watching a TV show, watching other people do things. Climb into the characters and try to look at the situation and the things through their eyes. Put yourself into the position of the woman at the well, or Jesus, or his disciples, or the folks from the town uh, of Sychar, and think about it from their viewpoint. What happened? What did they say? How would they have felt? And maybe you can do that just reading through the chapter once. Maybe you want to read through the chapter several times and, and be a different character each time. But think through that. And if you still have time and want to do something more, then go to John, uh, John chapter 4, verse 4, where it says, And now Jesus had to go through Samaria. And think about why. Because most Jews, when they went from south to north, they would go across the river so they could miss Samaria, go north, and then cut back across again to Galilee. Jesus didn't have to go through Samaria. Most Jew Jews didn't. Why does John 4.4 4 say that he had to go through Samaria? And we'll talk about that and a lot more from John chapter 4 on Sunday. Have a good week. John, and uh, just thinking about, you know, what to, what to say today. Uh-oh. <laughs>